Elite Bass Box Unboxing. It's October, and if you remember, August was terrible, an absolute terrible month. I think Mystery Tackle Box lost a lot of subscribers in October. Just absolute garbage box. September was their month for redemption, and they didn't hit a home run. It was a good box, but absolutely not a home run by any means. So I'm hoping October they can completely redeem themselves. I don't want to move on to another box, but, I mean, to be completely honest with you, my viewers, I've been looking at the, the Monster Bass box, and uh, Monster Bass even commented on one of my videos and said after the first of the year, become January 1st, um, they're going to be owned by Strike King. So it's going to be a Strictly Strike King box, and that sounds... But I, I honestly can see it working because you know you're going to get legit stuff every time. I'm not into some of the real goofy stuff that MTB sends that I'll never use anyway that they try to call expensive baits and stuff. That's where they're falling off. You know, give me stuff that I'm going to use every time. So, and then also they commented in my video saying that uh, December is going to be like the iCast kickoff for all the stuff they're going to have an iCast. I believe that's what it said. You'll have to look in the comments of the other video and check it out. But, uh, we got Little Copy Man here with us today. The video's a little late. We've been deer hunting. It's uh, whitetail season here in Illinois, so we're chasing the whitetail deer. But let's get after it. Here we go. October Elite Box unboxing. It feels light. I'm gonna be honest. It feels it feels light. You stuff falling out. It's a paper. Oh boy, boy, they cheapen that up. This is just an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper with. This is the line card. It's not even a card. It's just a paper. And the next thing I noticed is the dibble and my stickers thrown in there and all curled up. The dibble, I mean, that's what we do, but it's, it looks like everything was just thrown in this month. Look at that. The stickers, uh, the decals all. So if you can see it, there's the decal. Okay. Fish with the hook. It is a pretty cool decal if, as long as it doesn't... It, I'm already kind of not liking what I see. Hopefully, it's not looking like a complete redemption month. So, let's just kick it off here. Let's, oh boy. Chase Bates Frill Seeker. What is this? $16.99 Iguana. Iguana. So, it's a lizard bait. I'm guessing this is a... A wake bait. It's either a top water or a wake. It's a wake bait. It's got the little straight up and down bill. Chase baits. Boy, I am not a fan of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, comment down below and tell me am I crazy, but I am not a fan of this. 16 grams, uh, 7 inches long. Iguana's the color. Based on the real frill neck lizard, both in looks and action. The vibrating frill is designed to flare when slowing down the retrieve. So the, they're talking about the uh, the skirt around its head, which is ignorant, honestly. Mm -hmm. Take this out so you'll see it. Yeah, every bit of seven inches. If that ain't stupid, I don't know what is. I would rather have anything else. Little bitty hooks. Look at the little bitty treble hooks on that big end, that big seven inch bait. Little bitty treble hooks. They don't even look like they're good hooks. No, they don't even look like quality hooks. You're right. Hey, come with an extra tail. Sixteen ninety nine. Oh look, the skirts already falling apart on my line card. Oh, Carl's bait and tackle mystery tackle box. Let's get it together. Honestly, this. I'm not excited for that bait. Comment down below. Am I being crazy? Am I being too overcritical of Mystery Tackle Box? Or is this just stupid? Next bait. Classic Cowboy Topwater. This ain't so bad. Castic, the original Swim Bait Co. Half ounce, four inches. Topwater Spook type bait. I can make this work. It's kind of a stupid color, but they're only going to see the bottom anyway. I can make this work. $7.99. Cowboy Topwater is one of the best performing walk the dog baits on the market. And that, a good Zara spook. Oh, man. So it's hard to compete with a Zara spook, but getting kind of chintzy. Kind of chintzy hooks. Heavy rattles. Heavy rattles. Kind of a chrome. Uh, man, what would you call that color? Kind of a chrome. Uh, a 
Chrome Perch or something. It's made in China. Ha! Chrome Perch! Bloody Chrome Perch! I really had no idea. That's what... I was kind of joking, but Bloody Chrome Perch is what they call it. I guess I hit the nail on the head with the color. Bloody Chrome Perch, heavy rattles, but just seems overall kind of cheap, to be honest with you. Um, $7.99. So this is something I'll use, so I can't complain. Um, like I did with the first thing, so I don't see me ever taking my time and throwing that on to catch anything. Uh -oh. And honestly, Z-Man Chatterbait Elite. There is something I'll use. I didn't wear it. It was that bad boy. Okay. Now, I make my own jigs, so I make my own Chatterbait. So I don't get too excited about this stuff. But I'm just glad they got something cool in there. It looks like peanut butter jelly type color. Uh, bluegill. 3 8 ounce. $6.99, this is just your old Z-Man Chatterbait. Perfect, but that's what we want, Mystery Tackle Box. We want the stuff we're using anyway, and these wear out. You lose them, yeah. So, it's good to always have Chatterbaits. The jig they use is like a almost like a skipping jig with a flat bottom on it there. Blade's already got the bend in it. Green Pumpkin with some green pumpkin purple flake on top and you got a little bit just a flash of white and orange that is a good good bait i can't complain about that and maybe there's a trailer in here for it honestly with even crappie junior man here catches them on a chatterbait everybody loves chatterbait see man chatterbait elite 6.99 so good bait can't complain about that next one hyperlastics dart spin like this, yeah, okay. So this is just like a uh, soft bait underspin, almost like a little swim bait type underspin. Dart spin, half ounce, smoke blue silver is the color. Um, I'm not familiar with this company or the brand or anything. Um, but they look okay. Um, I think you can catch something on these. Learn how to fish the dart spin five and a half inch and enjoy a 20% discount. Courtesy of MTB, they say. That's pretty cool. So I guess you could go on there and watch a video on how to fish this. If you're curious to how to make it work. It's a zipper package, but then it's sealed. Hard to access. Oh, so it's not really an underspin, it's a tailspin. Cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Maybe okay, so you there. so what you would use, you would use like a um, a swim bait hook that has the the screw lock. You use a swim bait hook with a screw lock. And then you have that rear. That's pretty cool. And it has the uh, spot for the hook and everything. You know, I can make that work. That is pretty neat. Only two of them, but Heck, I could catch fish on that. Hyperlastic dart spin, $6.99. So that's pretty cool. That's something outside the box, but still, not to be always complaining, but I do like stuff I can just go right down to Dick's or whatever and buy two if it works really good. So don't think you're going to get that with these, but just one last look at it. Pretty cool. Nice big old blade. Them are okay. I uh, don't... Oh, there's like a shaky head in here. You can almost put these on, I guess, as a screw lock on it, too. Great Lakes Agitator. Great Lakes Agitator. So we have some kind of off-brand MTB exclusive. Yeah, so it's an off-brand rattle trap. Would much rather have a Strike King Red Eye Shad or even uh, original rattle trap. Uh, I don't know why the Elite, it's supposed to be the Elite box. I don't know why I'm not getting Elite baits. I'm getting MTB exclusive made in China. And that's not China, Illinois. Not Japanese baits. So MTB is really cheapening up the stuff, if you ask me. Boy, heavy rattles, though. I could catch a fish on it, honestly. Um, the color's not blow me away or... The quality's not blowing me away. The hooks suck. Have they changed those? Yeah, definitely got to change out the hooks. And it's made in China. 
Oh, well, I'll give you a good look at it. It's got a pink belly. Kind of a, a perch again. Another perch pattern, but with more of a bluegill face, I guess you could say. Comment down below. Tell me what do you think so far. Is it just me? Am I being overcritical, or is MTB really cheapening up the stuff here? I mean, I know they drive Porsche Cayennes and stuff, but hey, keep last year's model for another year or something. Okay. Owner, shaky head, shaky football head. So we got some half ounce, five aught hook, three pieces, shaky heads. These are all right. I can use these. Everybody likes a good shaky head. Get these out and show you, but there's nothing special about them. They're just your regular shaky head. Maybe I'll take them out. Just your regular shaky head hooks. Other than these are like attached to this super heavy duty cardboard, so maybe I won't. Maybe that's what you're supposed to put those other things on too. Yeah, you could you could make it work, but it wouldn't be ideal. I'd still rather a swim bait hook, but you could screw lock that to that and really jump it up and down and make this flutter like a dying shad. Because this is the time of year, you know, once it starts cooling off and the water gets to that low 40s or whatever and the shad have their die off you could definitely imitate it with these two items he's right about that but five aught shaky head nothing special straight hook no wide gap no no painted lead prop warning for california three half ounce shaky heads i can't complain about those those are good i think they're crazy on the price 650 for three Maybe three ninety nine for four ninety nine on a high day, but six fifty. Come on, two baits left. The Bandit one hundred. I didn't even see that in there. We got a little uh, square bell. I love crank baits. This is two to five foot, but Bandits are cheap crank baits. I wrap much rather a Strike King or whatever, honestly. But uh, Bandit one hundred. The red fin shad, two to five feet. Let's check it out. I'll probably throw it in the crankbait box. Maybe. I don't know. This MTB is cheaping it up, guys. It's got a little knocker in there. Maybe it's a... Yeah, it's a side-to-side -side knocker. It's got a, lot, a little rattle to it. Heavy lip. Good heavy lip. I just... I'm not a fan of these. They use cheap hook. Extra wide gap though, I do like those. They did at least do that, give you some little extra wide gap hooks, but ah. Okay, I'll take that back. These hooks are pretty good. They're really sticky and they don't bend easy at all. I'm trying to bend it and it don't. So I'll eat my words. These are pretty good hooks. <laughs> Maybe this bait's a little better than some of the other bandit ones I've tried. So I am I'm gonna give this a go, honestly. Blue back thread fin shad. Uh, Bandit was 649 so right in the range of crankbait prices. Well, you know, let's strike king price. One bait left. Sweet spot, tackle shooter, something else. Looks like you can't buy anywhere, and it looks like a... Might not be a sample pack. It might just be because they're little drop shot baits, but they're definitely drop shot baits. It doesn't tell you what color. It doesn't tell you sweet spot tackle. I don't... Something they just got a bunch of really cheap, probably. Mystery tackle box, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, cheap packaging, cheap. Better drop shot bait, ruby. Ruby red, blue flake, I can make them work. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So an eight pack, so it's not, it's definitely a full pack, so I can't say that. But still a cheap bait. I've never heard of them. Can you, have you heard of these? Can you buy these at your tackle shop locally? So, and then, come on, Mystery Tackle Box. So, definitely a mediocre month. Mediocrity at best. This is not what I would ever call a knock it out the park redemption month. And that's what they need right now, let me tell you. Because I think Monster Bass... It's going to put it to you, Mystery Tackle Box. If I'm crazy, comment down below. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell the crappie man he's crazy. I don't know. But I, I just think quality is severely lacking anymore. But um, it is what it is. If you like the video,
go down below smash the like button for me if you haven't seen this video right here click on it it's awesome if you've seen it click on this video it's awesome too if you haven't subscribed to me go right here subscribe to the crappie man Till next time midwest crappie man out